Hey folks, Shelly here from Design Files. I just wanted to put together a quick video because I noticed that there were some questions in the Facebook group about how to handle or add built-in structures in the 3D floor planner. So there's a few different ways that you can tackle this and I thought it would be helpful if I just put together a video and showed you a few of those options. So I'm going to use this project here as my example. I'm just going to click in to show you some of the options that I came up with. So in this case, we've got a wall that had a fireplace that was extending out into the space. And I basically filled either side with a large bookcase that had open shelving from top to bottom. Um, over here, I've also added in or used some of the 3D models uh, that we already have within the system for uh, media cabinets or china cabinets or um, you know you could look up console anything like that and it would give you a number of models that you can use and then i'll show you how you can tweak those models so they fit within the space and look more built in and then last but not least i'll also show you how you can use the kitchen cabinetry as well to create built-ins and how you can use the models for wooden beams to create open shelves like this so i'll show you how to tweak it all now let's go ahead, we're gonna back up here. I'll start with this design right here. We're gonna go ahead and edit that and I'll show you how I created this. So I'm just gonna let my floor plan load in. Here I'm already in the top-down floor plan mode. I'm gonna switch over to the 3D perspective mode so we can have a look at this design. And in this case, I guess one of the, I'm just gonna delete these cabinets. We're gonna add them anyway, so I'll show you how to add it from scratch. But in this case, I've got a design here where I have a fireplace in the center that's extending out and it's created these two little niches on either side. And I want to be able to fill that in with some built in cabinetry. Now, I'm going to show you two different options, one where you're just filling in with a base cabinet. So if you've got a window up top and you just want to have a lower built in cabinet, I'll show you how to do that. And also how to do one where it's more of a full wall um, cabinet where it has open shelving and some closed um, storage at the bottom. Now, the models that I used, I'm just going to bring these in here because I've already got them just for the sake of this video. But whenever you're looking for cabinets within the 3D floor planner, you could search for China cabinet, uh, cabinet, and it'll bring up a number of options for you that you can browse through. You could also look for media cabinets and you could also look for a bookcase. Okay, so try those ones. Try those keywords to begin with and see if it's giving you some options that you can play around with. You should see loads of options to choose from and it should give you a variety of more traditional, transitional or modern cabinets. Now, I already picked mine out and the one that I'm going to be using is the Cameo option from Crate and Barrel. Um, you can definitely use this one for your designs as well. What I like about this model is that it comes in a variety of different colors and different orientations. So you've got the full open shelving here. You've got base cabinets. The base cabinets come with closed doors or the glass doors. Um, and if I scroll down further, there's the glass doors. And if I scroll down further here, you'll also see the taller bookcases with the um, closed storage at the bottom. So you got a lot of options that you can work with. Now I am going to start by adding in this piece right here over to this section of my floor plan. Now here's a couple key things that you do need to know. So I'm going to switch back to the 3D floor plan mode and we'll bring this model over here. First thing I need to know is what is the distance between this, uh, the edge of my fireplace and the edge of the wall. Now, I already know that it's 72 inches, but if you don't know what it is, then you can use the handy measuring tool right here. Click on that. Click on the edge of your fireplace, uh, move it over, and you'll see the full length for this particular space. So I know it's 72 inches. So what I can do here is I can click to close out of this, and I'm also just going to click on this again to close out of the measuring tool. And now that I know I need this to be 72 inches, I'm just going to select that piece and I'm gonna increase this model to 72 inches wide. I can also adjust the depth if I want. So if I want it to be the same depth as my fireplace, I can do that. And I can also increase the height to whatever I want. Now I'm gonna use my mouse and I'm just going to slide this into place. And I also like to use my left, right and up, down arrows to just move it one tiny bit at a time so I can get it exactly where I want it to be. 
When I have it in place, I'll flip over to the 3D perspective mode. Let's get this cabinet out of the way for now. We'll just slide it out of our floor plan. And if I move my floor plan over here, I can see that it's still got a little bit of a gap here. So it's, it's nice and flush with the base here, but I actually don't want to see that gap. So again, I'm going to click on this cabinet, come down to the actual dimensions, and I'm going to bump that up just to fill out the space until it's nice and snug with the wall and the edge of my fireplace like that. Now, if I wanted to do more of a tall cabinet here, so we'll bring this one in now. I'm just gonna switch back into the floor plan mode, bring this cabinet over. Now, I think this is gonna look better if I have two cabinets side by side rather than trying to stretch this cabinet out to be the full width of the 72 inches. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring this cabinet up and I could just increase this to 36 inches I'm probably gonna to need to adjust it further, but let's go with 36 for now. Again, I'm gonna take the depth down to 14, so it's the same depth as my fireplace, and I'm gonna increase this to about 90 inches. I want this to be a nice tall cabinet. So I'm gonna select this, and I'm just gonna slide it into place. And again, I'm just using the left, right, and up, down arrows to make sure I have it exactly where I want it. And then what I'll do is I'll duplicate this, and I'm gonna slide the next one into place. Okay, now let's go into the 3D perspective mode so we can see these two together and you see what I mean by needing to increase it because we've got this gap here. So the crown molding edges, they're touching, but we need to fill this in. So what I'd probably do is bump this up to about 42 for each cabinet. And you can just keep adjusting the width until you feel like you've got it the way you need it. And then what I'll do here is I can see that my cabinet's kind of a little bit into the wall, so I'm just going to, again, use the left, right, and up, down arrows on my keyboard, and I'm just going to slide it out until I have it where I want it, just like that. So now it looks like these two cabinets are built together, and we've got a nice custom built-in look for this particular space. So that's one way that you can approach it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and let's, uh, we'll just save this design quickly. I just wanna quickly save the floor plan. I'm not gonna bother with the render because I really wanna spend the majority of the time on this video showing you other ways that you can create custom built-ins. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go back to the app. Okay, so now that we're back to the project, I'm just gonna open up this design. We'll open this one and I'll show you how you can use the kitchen cabinetry and how you can create uh, open shelving units to build out your, your custom built-ins for your designs. So let's go ahead and we're just gonna edit this design. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into the 3D perspective mode so we can see what's happening here. And I'm gonna get rid of the uh, open shelf that I have right here. And I'm also going to get rid of these cabinets here as well. And then we'll rebuild out this section of the design. Now, if I want to create kind of base cabinets that are gonna fit in on this side of the fireplace, what I would search for is a base cabinet. And you'll see a number of options here. So I'm just gonna scroll through until I find the one that I want. And I'm really just looking for this right here, the one that has the two doors. Now, I'm gonna use this base cabinet, but I do need to adjust the overall dimensions of it because I know that this is 72 inches. Um, and again, if you don't know what the distance is between the space, use your handy measuring tool and just click on the edge of one and then go all the way across and it'll tell you what the distance is. And then you can click out of this and click out of this to get back into your regular floor plan mode. So with this cabinet right here, what I want to do is I'm going to change this to 36 inches. So if I put two of these side by side, it'll give me the full 72. And then what I can do is I'm going to change the depth so it's matching the depth of my fireplace. And I'm also going to change the height and we'll just make it 36 even. Now I'm going to zoom in here and I'm zooming in by using the wheel on my mouse. And I'm just going to slide this cabinet into place. And I can use the left, right, and up, down arrows to get it exactly where I want it to be. And then I'll just duplicate. Let me do that again. I'm just going to click the duplicate icon right here to duplicate this cabinet. And again, I'll slide that into place. 
Once I have it in place, it'll just load in like this. And we can see that these are two nice snug cabinets that are kind of creating more of a built-in shape here. Now, if I want to um, create the open shelving above this, here's what you would do. We'll look for a beam. You can see that there's a number of options here that you can choose from in different wood finishes. So I'll take this one right here. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just, first and foremost, if I wanted to just reset the color or change the color on this, I'll use the color option here. We'll make this more of a darker brown so it kind of matches a little bit closer to the fireplace mantle here. And the next thing I'll do is I'm gonna adjust the dimensions of this. So I need this to be 72 long. I what I need for it to, let's see here, the depth will be 14 and I'm gonna make the height 1.5. So now it looks more like an open shelf. So now that I have that, I'm gonna go back to the floor plan mode. I'm gonna rotate this around and then I'm just gonna slide this over here into place. Now, a couple key things that you're gonna to need to know here. Um, you need to change the distance from floor. If we don't change the distance from floor, then this, let me just go back into the 3D perspective mode here. You'll see that it's already sitting on the floor. So what we need to do is we need to bring this up. Let's bring it up to 50 inches. And then when you have it up, what you can do is you can go into the floor plan mode and slide this into place. And again, I'll just zoom in here and we'll line this up. And then once I have that, if I want to have maybe three or four shelves above it, I'm just gonna duplicate this shelf. And I know that this one's at 50, so let's say we wanna do this in 12 inch increments. So I would make this next one at 62. And I'm gonna slide that in. And if I go into the 3D perspective mode, you'll see it sitting above here. So you can keep doing that. We'll select this one, we're gonna duplicate it, and then I'm gonna make this one 74 inches and slide it in. And we'll do one last one at 86 inches, right? Just keep making your, uh, just keep going up with your 12 inch increments. and then I can slide in that into place. We'll pop back into the 3D perspective mode and now we've got some nice open shelving that we have above our base cabinets. Okay, now let's pop over here. This is a case where I did the base cabinets, but then what I also did is I layered on some upper cabinets as well. So if I look for upper cabinet, you'll find options here. And this is the glass one that I used. So I just layered that on top and I adjusted the overall size of it so that I could create more of a, a built-in look. And then I also added in this cabinet on the top so that it went all the way to the ceiling. So you can layer your cabinets on top of each other to create more of a custom built-in shape. And the other thing that you can keep in mind here is if you want to change the color of your cabinets, you can do that as well. So if I want to, if I don't want this base white color, I'm just gonna select the cabinet. I could actually hold down shift and select the other cabinet as well. And then I can change the color for the cabinets as well. And if you want, you'll see that the uh, top of the cabinet, the, the countertop is also changing. If you don't want that to change, then you could just add in a custom countertop. So what do I mean by that? Um, what you could do is you could duplicate one of your shelving units here. And if I want this to be the top of my cabinet, so I kind of match up the wood finish of the, uh, the mantle and my other book, my other open shelving units here, then I could do that as well. I'd probably increase this to maybe like 175. And then we're just going to, actually, one quick thing here. I want to, I'm just gonna ungroup these, remind myself the height. So that's at 36, okay, great. So what I'd probably do here is I'm gonna make this sit at 37 for now. I'm gonna go back into my three or my floor plan mode here, slide this into place so I get it nice and square here, come back into the 3D perspective mode and I just need to lower this down a little bit like that. So you can create, uh, you can kind of customize the top counter for your, your lower cabinets here. 
Um, if you wanted it to be the same color as the actual cabinet, you could use the white beam because then you can just color it to whatever you want and match your color. So you would take the color from here and then use your white beam, scale it into place, and then apply this same color code to it. The other thing that you can do is you can look for countertop and then you can take this one here that has more of like a white marble finish to it and you could adjust it and lay it on top of your cabinets as well. Okay, so fairly detailed approach to this, but I hope it gave you a few options that you can use to create more of a custom cabinet look or a custom built-in look for your 3D floor plans. And of course, if you have any questions whatsoever, then feel free to reach out. We are always happy to help.